What's up all you office warriors out there? How are you doing? Happy New Year. Welcome to, to uh, 2015. And I'm going to talk about how we can prevent ourselves from experiencing back pain, knee issues, feeling tight and wound up after work. So that when you do go to the gym, you don't feel like you have to do hours and hours of mobilization work just to get to a point to where you have nice range of motion, smooth movement. So now you can go and lift your weights or, or move into your handstands or do your squats or do your deadlifts or, or invert on the rings, whatever it is you need to do. This way you're preventing yourself from injury. You're thinking proactively instead of just reactively, okay? So I wanna preface this by saying that we are human beings and when we're sitting for long periods of time, we're going against what nature has provided for us. From an evolutionary perspective, we have evolved from the lens of movement complexity. As our movement changed from crawling to standing up and going bipedal motion and doing overhead movements and hanging from trees, hanging from branches, to squatting, to lunging, to twisting, to pulling, to pushing, this is the whole span of movement. When you just pigeonhole yourself to one thing, which is just sitting on a computer with your knees bent and, not, your, knees bent and your hips flexed, and you're hunching over with your neck drawn forward, now you're overtraining this movement, when in reality you're primed, you're designed to experience all sorts of movement. Brachiating, where you're swinging from one branch to another, or if you're in a jungle gym, you're, you're swinging from one bar to another, okay? Brachiation, inversion, inverting on your hands, doing a handstand, squatting, so crucial. So crucial, squatting, pushing, pulling. It's so important, guys. And so when you pigeonhole yourself to just one movement, sitting on the computer, rounded shoulders, neck drawn forward, and you're looking at the computer all day, this is where the dysfunction comes in because you're literally going against what nature has provided. And you're kind of cutting yourself short because your neocortex, the part of your brain that's involved with intellectualization, thinking, decision making, is bootstrapped to your movement brain from where we evolved. So the more we develop the movement complexity, the more we can really change and, and really intensify and develop our intellectual brain, our intellectual capacity. So with that being said, what can you do if you're at the office and you work nine to five and you're at a desk. Well, first I say, go to your superiors, talk to your boss, get a group of your employees together and talk about getting stand-up desks. If you want to improve the productivity of what you do at the workplace, this is key. Because if your body feels good, then your mind can feel good. All right? Your mind has the capacity now to do all the tasks it needs to do. And now you can move, get up out of your seat, and do the things you have to do to get things accomplished, get things done. But if you are like this all day, you are just no way in hell primed to get things done. Okay? Because now this whole mind-body connection is out the window. You're just kind of there slaving away at your desk. So first things first, ask for a stand-up desk. If you care about the way you feel, your well-being, and the well-being of your employees around you, get a stand-up desk. Okay? Number one. Number two, get yourself some tools whenever you go to work. Get yourself a band, a loop band like this, and you can get it from Amazon.com. I got this from Sirius Steel. Okay, really cool stuff. There are different resistances. I recommend getting the lower end, like zero to 15 pounds or 15 to 35 pounds of resistance. Unless you're feeling inspired, you want to go more, go for it. Go for more. Go for more resistance. But get yourself a band, okay? And whenever you feel like it, or as much as possible, or every two or three hours, you can time it however you want to, get up, or if you get your stand-up desk, you're already standing up, and go on your hand in at the ends of your band, pull your shoulders back, pull your neck back, okay? And pull the band apart, to your chest and come back slowly with control and repeat. Now as you get to this end, make sure you're squeezing your shoulder blades together, okay? Here, squeeze those blades together like they owe you money, squeeze, 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 and come on back. 
Make sure that you're keeping your abs on, your glutes are squeezed tight as you do this. Do a set of 15. Do two sets of 15 every two to three hours. So important. Get yourself a loop band. Then, you can also get yourself a mini loop band. Okay? Same thing, I got on Sirius Steel and got myself a mini loop band. I also got some of these from Rogue Fitness. Okay? Great place to get these from. And now you want to also turn on your, your lights because you're sitting, if you are sitting, you're sitting in a position where you're turning off your glutes. Your glutes aren't able to fire. Your IT bands are getting really tight. Okay, you're turning off a lot of the musculature around your hamstrings. You're not letting your hamstrings work appropriately. They're just getting tight because they're just kind of being in this position at all times. Your knees flexed at all times. So, you want to turn on your hamstrings, you want to turn on your glutes, you basically want to turn on your entire posterior chain. And that's why it starts you guys off with doing pull aparts. So you turn on your scapula, your shoulder blades, all the muscles and stabilizers of your back get turned on. Now, get a loop band, and let me show you what it looks like. Get a loop band, wrap it around your ankles, okay, and go through various ranges of motion. Go through the front range, turn on your quads, pull for a couple seconds, come back, pull for a couple seconds, come back, do two sets of 15. And then you can go back this way, turn on your hamstrings. Turn on your hamstrings, turn your hamstrings on, Boom, the okay, glutes and hamstrings are turning on. So as you go back into the extension, you're also squeezing your butt cheek on both sides. Okay? You can also go into abduction. Boom, turning on your glute medius. Okay, turning on your glutes. Go to your abduction. Do 15 reps per direction. Do two sets of 15 for each direction. Okay? You can definitely do that. If you absolutely cannot get a stand-up desk, which I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. If they want to increase the productivity of their entire company, that is a smart move. If you can't do that, then this is a little more comfortable. You can get yourself a lacrosse ball. Where'd my other one go? Somewhere here. There it is. Get yourself a lacrosse ball. Get two lacrosse balls. Place them underneath your butt. Okay, so sit right on top of these, these lacrosse balls. And while you're doing your work, your butt is always staying mobilized, okay? It's always staying turned on. But if you don't have these, your butt is turning off. So when you go to the gym and try squatting, now all the pressure has gone to the front part of your knees. Your knees take the brunt of the force. You're not able to absorb force through your glutes and your hamstrings, okay? You can move these around. You can move it down to your hamstrings. You can move it to your lower back. So you can rest up against these two balls, just move the ball around through your entire posterior region and mobilize yourself while you're sitting. So, so important, okay? But the last piece, I think it's probably the most important piece, is how you posture yourself in general, okay? And you can, you can look at my video on posture that I have. You can scroll through my videos and find it. And basically what you wanna be able to do is cue yourself, okay? So screw your shoulders into place. We go over it again. Take your neck back to neutral. Take your hips and thrust them forward to a neutral position, not to where they're overextended or tucked under. Find the neutral, shoulders back, neck back, and abs are slightly on. On a scale of one to 10, probably at a two or three, 10 being the maximal engagement. Okay, so it looks like this. Squeeze, shoulders back, neck neutral, and now you're ready to type and do your thing, okay? When you're typing, you don't want your, your wrists frayed out. Make sure these stay neutral too. This is where all the carpal tunnel issues happen. Keep your wrists neutral as much as possible, okay? So those are some key things you can start to do. There's some more stretches that I can provide in a second video, but I wanted to start this whole process off the bat with these few three to four simple things you can do at the office. Do it every two to three hours, do as much as you like, but keep turning on these things because you're meant to move, you're a human being, embrace that. Peace.